tuba players, if you tune your instrument before rehearsal and you don't touch any of your slides after that, everything that you're playing is probably out of tune. So for the sake of this lesson, we're only going to focus on equal temperament and we're only going to focus on your specific intonation as an individual and not how it relates to the ensemble. So here's three important bullet points to understand before we get started. So the first thing is, never actually tune your instrument without playing first. You want to make sure you're nice and comfortable with your horn and you feel good and the temperature's right, you feel good physically before you pick up that tuner. Number two, you want to make sure you're tuning at a nice, comfortable, medium volume. Now, sure, you're going to play your fortissimos, you're going to play your mezzo fortes throughout your performance and throughout your practice, but you should always tune at a nice, comfortable, medium volume with a fully developed buzz. So, number three, you always want to shoot for your suggested intonation. And what that means is, whatever feels the most comfortable on your instrument when you pick it up to play, that's really what you want to shoot for. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's in tune. It may be 20 cents flat, but whatever feels the best for you, what feels the most centered on your chops, not on the tuner, but on your chops, that's what you want to go for when you're tuning, and then adjust your instrument to accommodate that. Now. That being said, if you're way far off in either direction, you may have some issues with your setup that you want to work on before that'll hinder anything else moving forward from here. Now that we've gotten this far, you're still playing out of tune because these instruments are really not perfect, all right? This is not an exact science. Your main tuning slide only gets you in the ballpark of where you need to be, especially if you're on a budget instrument, all right? These can have all sorts of intonation issues. So you get that one note in tune and everything else is out of tune. So the fix for that is a couple things. The first thing you want to do is complete an intonation chart. And what that means is you're essentially tuning your main pitch of your instrument. So for me, I play on a C tuba, so I'm going to tune my concert C, middle concert C. For most tuba players who play on a B flat instrument, it's your second line B flat. You want to get that right down the center, right in tune on the tuner. And then you want to go down chromatically and up chromatically and write down where each one of those notes lie. So for example, if I play my middle B flat and that B flat, I get that perfectly in tune, I'm just going to write a zero next to that. And then I'm going to move down chromatically to my concert A natural, all right? So if I play the A natural, say it's 13 cents flat, I'm going to write minus 13 right next to that A natural. And then I'm going to move down a half step. All right? I'm going to play my A flat from there. If the A flat, say, is 13 cents sharp, I'm going to write plus 13. So if it's sharp, I would write a plus. If it's flat, I would write a minus. Now, the most important thing is that you understand what this is. This doesn't have to translate to the rest of the world. It just has to make sense to you. So you should go from your middle B flat all the way to your lowest playable range, then back to your middle B flat, then up to your highest playable range, and just write down whatever it is, all right? Don't try to fix it right now. Your goal is just to collect data at this point. Now, after you collected the data, your second thing that you want to do is figure out how to use this data to fix the problem, all right? The problem is everything's out of tune. You got that one note in tune, everything is out. And the fix is you have to play your tuba like it's a trombone. This is the biggest thing that I see tuba players having trouble with everywhere I go to teach, all right? The biggest thing that everyone struggles with, playing your tuba like it's a trombone. And what I mean by that is all of these slides have to be able to move as you're playing your horn. So my suggestion for you, if you're brand new at this, start simple and just focus on one note at a time, all right? Maybe you focus on your concert G, all right? And just getting that in tune. And as you go through the music, start incorporating more and more pitches over time. I'll give you a perfect example of that. My first time playing on this actual tuba, I was in Tokyo, Japan, and we had this chorale in our show, and it ended on a concert F, and the low concert F is a one and four fingering combination on this horn. Now, in order to do that, I realized I had to pull this slide all, almost all the way out in order to get that in tune, and that note always stuck with me. Now, every time I play a low concert F, I think about that specific moment within that show and what I had to do to get that in tune. So for you, start simple. Start with one note at a time and then just work from there. It'll start to become second nature. So it doesn't seem like such a daunting process to begin with. So my last suggestion is, is utilizing your first valve slide as much as you can. The thing you have to understand is 90% of the step that you play is revolves around your first valve. Right? So if I look at the geography of my instrument, 
my first valve slide is here, then I have my third valve slide, and my second is in this weird kind of position that's hard to reach. And most tuba players, your second valve slide often pulls out here if you're on a rotary instrument or pulls out from behind. And it's a little bit awkward to use, so don't use it. All right? It's a very small slide anyways, and it doesn't move as freely on most horns that I've seen. So for me, I utilize my first valve slide all day long. All right? That is my best friend. I have that thing greased up, and it moves like a trombone slide. And if you're struggling with that, put some work in. Get your instrument cleaned. All right? But focus on that first valve slide, and that's going to make the, all the difference for you. So if you found this content helpful today, please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tuba Visionary. You can also find me at tubavisionary.com and on all social media. Thanks a bunch for watching and please share with your friends.